Scorpio, sign 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for July 2021. Okay, growth and forgiveness. That's what's showing up for you guys. Let's see what's going on with you guys this week. Interesting. Any cards here for Scorpio, please? <laughs> All right. First off, they're telling me here through your cards that you should not give energy to worry and fear. Okay. It's time to clear your energy. That's what they're saying. So let's see why here, Scorpio. Okay, you guys have the sun and the lover's card that I'm seeing here. What message do you have here for Scorpio? Are you guys moving into a new partnership, um, into a new relationship? We're going to see exactly what's coming out for you guys. If you find that this reading helped you in some way here, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I upload for you again. If this reading does not resonate with you, make sure you check the description box. I have all of the zodiacs. That was your star card. All the zodiac signs listed there. Okay. Um, you could check your moon, rising, Venus, uh, Mercury, and Mars sign to get a clear picture of what you are dealing with this week or whenever you watch this reading, Scorpio. So you guys have worry. Are you guys worried about a relationship? Because it's showing up here. This is something new. Okay. A new relationship. I feel like you've already moved on from someone here, okay, that you are dealing with, whether that is in the distant past or the recent past here, um, and you're worried if a new relationship is going to be the same way. <clears throat> a new partnership is going to be the same way here, okay? I can basically tell you you're reading right now, but we're going to go through every one of these cards. Uh, just in case your spirit team has anything else they want you to know. So let's see what you're worried about. Your card is saying, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, okay? That's what they want you to know. Worry does not change an outcome here. If someone wants to be crappy to you, they will here, okay? Um, if someone wants to love you, they will. They'll show it. You'll see it. You'll feel it. You'll, you'll sense it here, okay? Your card is saying energy here, Scorpio. It's saying try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. And I'm going to say keep positive thoughts as well because you do manifest into reality what you're worried about okay so pay attention to your thoughts here if you want something positive to happen or a positive outcome okay <clears throat> without ignoring the red flags keep a positive attitude okay about your connections and your relationships here whether that is business or romantic okay you have humor coming in your card is saying here i choose to focus on the lighter side of life before you guys snap on someone <laughs> okay and you have music coming in here so, some of you guys this will help soothe your soul here so if you have a tendency of listening to sad songs or songs that are emotional and put you in a downward downward spiral switch it up okay and listen to some upbeat music here okay music that helps soothe your soul um or get you excited okay switch up your music your card is saying express yourself by playing an instrument or singing music will lift your spirits here okay you have perseverance so move through the trials and tribulations the difficulties and challenges that you're faced with here your card is saying i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to and you can okay your card is saying wait take time to think about the matter at hand don't be tempted to rush or control a situation or a relationship here okay okay you got the tower card that is showing up. For some reason, when I touch that card, they're saying in time. In time, you will know something. Okay. 
let's see exactly what this is. Because the card is saying, wait, in time you will know something here. And I don't feel like it's going to be bad. Just to let you guys know here, okay? I feel like it will be um, a, a sudden shift or discovery um, or answer is coming towards you here. Possibly someone's emotions and how they feel about you. Yes, some will come in. <laughs> okay, so you're wondering, is this person going to commit, come towards me? Are we going to have a happy relationship? First of all, yes, with the nine of hearts that's down here. And the writer is coming in, letting you know that movement is coming. News is coming here. Okay, a significant person is about to enter into your life. Okay, um, and there's going to be a lot of love, okay, from this individual. That's what I'm saying. One more card here. I was about to skip that. Your last card talks about happiness here. So know that happiness is here. That's what your spirit team wants you to know. And the card is saying, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right track. So don't focus on this worry. Like being happy, you like, oh shoot, as soon as you're happy, something bad happens. Don't think like that, okay? Just enjoy the moment and know that being happy means that you are on the right track here, okay? They want you to clear your energy from past emotions or feelings that you used to have, okay? And switch up your mindset here going to tell you that because this is how you're showing up presently okay your present position is the six of swords that's why i'm saying change your mindset here okay um possibly some of you guys a breakup will turn out to be the best thing that ever happened to you because new love is coming in i'm just going to change say that for to you guys okay um so they're saying just take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually at this moment. That's why you have this card. And it's saying remove energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter from your life. Okay? So like I said, this is how you are being seen right now at this moment. Okay? Moving on, going towards the light, thinking more positive, being more positive, taking control over your life, turn, turning negativity. Um, okay. <laughs> Negative uh, feelings, energy, vibrations into something that is positive and you're enjoying your life. This is what you guys need to do this week or this is what you need to focus on letting go of problems. Um and learning how to, um, I feel in some way with this blue on this card, they're pointing to your throat chakra about communication here, okay? Yes, you have the six of cups <laughs> that is coming in crossing you. So this is an opportunity for happiness. Some of you guys uh, are romanticizing possibly because they're saying memories of love. So you're romanticizing the past here, okay? Um, or thinking about the past, okay? Past situations, things that may have happened in the past here, okay? But I feel like your spirit team is wanting you to let old situations slip away from you here. Um, some of you guys, those old situations hold negative energy and vibration, Um Others, it's good memories that you're holding on to. Keep those, okay? But if it is negative energy or thoughts that you're having, they want you to remove that energy because it's blocking your, your path here, okay? That's what they're saying, all right? So your goals and your destiny that's coming up here is the Ace of Swords. Like I said, cut out things that do not serve you uh, and see the truth in a lot of situations that you had to release yourself from uh, with the Ace of Swords, period. That's it. You got 11 coming in here. So this is a guided message for you to go towards new opportunities in your life. And that is including love with the Ace of Cups that is coming in here. So I feel like it is a new lover that may be stepping into your life here Scorpio um, and this is what you need to put your energy into is nurturing those relationships or nurturing something or someone new in your life that's coming here okay Ooh, geez ah. <laughs> okay you got the snake coming in here and I know why this is coming in I'm feeling two different energies off of this card the position that this card is falling in is the distant past. So you may have given your love to a snake 
or someone that had bad um, motives, okay, hidden motives here, okay, or bad intentions towards you here, all right, but I don't feel like this energy is going to follow you if you don't want it to here, all right, I feel like that is what you're releasing, uh, the snake that you were dealing with, and I don't need to clarify that anymore, all right, this is possibly a past lover, especially with the six of cups um, that I'm feeling here, okay? But we're not focusing on the past here. So let's continue to move forward. You have the recent past that's coming in. Um, what's influencing your uh, present moment coming in here is the four of swords. So something that a heartbreak that you are recovering from. That's what they're saying to me. It's a heartbreak that you are recovering from right now at this moment. So are you blocking yourself? There's worry here. That's what they're pointing me to. And the card is saying, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome here. So put those things to rest here, okay? Your card is saying rest and rejuvenate at this time here with the four of swords and they're letting me know here scorpio this is the end this is the end of a stressful situation okay uh, whatever you were dealing with in the past they're wanting you to focus on healing yourself um and not rushing uh trying to control a situation okay or a relationship here things gonna <laughs> are things gonna be spicy between you and someone else possibly you have the devil card that is coming in in your future position we're gonna go ahead and clarify this to see if there's anything that you need to know further in regards to this devil card Sometimes when this devil card shows up here in your reading, it can mean that this is self-restriction and fear and worry here, okay? In your future position, this is not something you want to move uh, forward with, okay? That's why you have the four of swords here saying that you need to rest and recover and heal yourself before moving on so this energy doesn't move into the present position. And that is the message here, okay? Yeah, they're wanting you to be good to yourself, treat yourself well, and be light-hearted. Some of you guys are meeting someone new. Um, you have the key that's coming out and the child that I'm seeing here. They're wanting you to open a new door to a possibility um, or an opportunity of someone else moving in in your life, okay? Hmm. That's interesting. You have the letter, the key, and the child that's coming in here. I'm, I'm going to have to say this. Someone from your past may be trying to step into your future. That's what I feel here, okay? Someone from your past will try to come back and reconnect with you, communicate with you, open up a new opportunity, reconcile a relationship, and it's going to be tempting to do that. That's the message that I'm seeing here, okay? But it's a you have free will, okay, on what you want to do. But I feel like your spirit team is wanting you to turn away from this energy. If you see this six of swords that's sitting here, everything um, that's on this side of the card, okay, the darkness that you're leaving behind, this temptation um, on this devil card is saying you leave this behind you and move on here. That's what I'm saying here. And go towards something something new. I don't need to clarify that anymore. That's what they're saying here, okay? So you need to make a choice. There's, You're going to be um, faced with a hard decision, <laughs> okay, here. Um, you have the two of pentacles that's coming in. This is your energy, your attitude here. They want you to focus on movement, making the right choice for you, and making a, a decision in regards to what you want in your life. Some of you guys, you don't need to juggle... Um, someone's feelings anymore it's all about how you're feeling and what you want moving forward here not saying do that in a selfish way but really weigh out your options um and deal with the changes that you've made in your life in a more positive stable way okay because the two of pentacles can mean sometimes instability or you feeling unstable so make wise choices from the heart that's what i'm feeling here okay from the heart right um, 
you have the star card that's coming in in regards to how people view you or how others view you. So I'm feeling like um, you're an inspiration to others. An inspiration to others. Let's see what else your spirit team wants you to know here. Ooh, you are the... <laughs> Oh my goodness. You are an inspiration to others. You have the lady here, okay? So they see you as being someone that is very loving, caring, empathetic, okay? Focused, very intuitive here, Scorpio, a good friend and a good partner, all right? Someone be, would be very lucky to have you in their life. I feel like your new love or new love interest will see you in this way. There's no need to worry, okay? Um... If they're going to see you in a positive light because I feel like they will here, okay? One more card here for Scorpio. Ooh, okay. The bear that's coming out. Interesting. Some of you guys work with this person or you know this person from work. They could be a past business partner here. Um, you guys could be meeting this person um, in a new career. Also, the bear shows up when they're talking about um, your health. So you guys may meet this person at the gym. Um, this could be uh, someone that is well known as well, as well here. They're giving me like characteristics of a new person here. All right. This person is very business minded, though, and very strong. Um That's what I'm seeing here, okay? But I feel like whoever this is, they're about their business. Uh, they're very well known as well in their community or their place of work, okay? Wherever they are, this person is trusted by many here, okay? But I feel like whoever this is, they have their eye on you here, Scorpio, okay? So don't be afraid to move into this new connection due to past situations. That's what I'm seeing here. It's time for transformation and it's time for something new with the death card that is coming in here, okay? And I feel um, this is your inner emotions with the with the death card coming in here. You want change in your life, okay? Uh, you want uh, new beginnings here and you will have them as the full card is your final result coming in talking about new beginnings new opportunities and I feel like your spirit team is just wanting me to tell you that you are on the right track at this moment okay so don't fear this change um, really consult with your higher self when you are stuck at a crossroads uh, in making important decisions on your life here your soul's journey right let's get your final message out here Your reading was kind of straightforward this week. They're talking about home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move to a new home here, okay? That is also part of you clearing your energy field. Some of you guys may have lived with a partner that you separated from. You may have moved away from a partner physically with the Six of Swords here, okay, as your present position. But they're wanting you to remove... Um, energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter here okay so time to clean house or move to a new house okay that's what I'm saying here don't be afraid to make those moves either you have career coming in it's time to add extra energy to your career area maybe try something new here Y'all, you guys have new beginnings here. Ace of uh, Cups, Ace of Swords here, and you moving on to something different, okay? They're wanting you to be proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been, and where you are going here, Scorpio. One more card for you. And they're saying, guys, your spirit guides are around you. Your spirit guides are there to help you communicate with your spirit guides today, okay? That is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Your reading was kind of straightforward. I didn't really have to jump into it too much. I kind of felt all this energy coming up here, okay? 
And I know you guys are very smart, very intuitive. So I know you will make the right choices for yourself here moving forward. I'm very confident in you and confident in what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, that you're uh, on the right path, right? That's your reading, loves. Make sure you guys like the video so it can be shared with others. Hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.